good morning happy monday lovely souls hope you've had a beautiful weekend it's blowing up a hooli here <laughs> the leaves leaves are falling from the trees the rain is just about to start and uh, i think it's absolutely perfect for coming down into the woods and doing a meditation that relates to healing ancestry now i'm working with callista's female archangel cards at the moment i'm, I'm really really enjoying them the, the energy is wonderful and i pulled a card for this morning's meditation and number card number 43 came out it says heal the root heal the root and so what does heal the root mean exactly and the, the the text from the card says that you the reader is a code breaker you are breaking the ancestral code for your entire lineage all the people that came before you all the souls that are going to be brought into this world as a result of your presence here you are the one that breaks the chains of the karmic 3d attachments all of the things that we've brought through so tune into this energy with your eyes closed take a few deep breaths and remember to open your heart first as i know a lot of these family issues at the moment they tend to be very triggering in fact i've always said that the penult the ultimate test or challenge to our light will be from the souls that we are closely blood related to and attached to in that way and it always makes me laugh I'll never, I'll never forget reading a quote by Rumi quite a few years ago it says if you if you think you're in a state of mastery go and spend seven days with your family and you'll soon find out you'll soon find out what a challenge to your mastery is so what we're doing jokes aside is healing having a look at healing the root actually acknowledging being a code breaker being that one that light you might be the only one okay but you've got honoring and acknowledging that is very important at the moment in order to set the healing ball in process close your eyes focus on your heart breathe into your heart as you breathe into your heart seeing it seeing it ignite into a beautiful ball of white gold and pink light and I'm being joined by beloved Mary beloved Mary was the mother of Yeshua and she's working very closely with many of us on the ascension pathway at the moment to be bringing forth healing and freedom and gifts of love and kindness and compassion for those around us and she's offering now a healing for each and every one of us that will extend out from our physical vessels, our mental, emotional, our spiritual selves into those that are closely related to us. Those around us might still be asleep, might even be kind of in opposition to what we're doing. And so just breathe into your heart and close your eyes now. Take a deep breath in. Breathing out, being aware of that heart bubble, which is being blessed now by the beautiful pale blue light of Mary's presence. If you imagine your heart light surrounding you in a ball, Mary has her hands on either side of this bubble and she is pouring her compassionate, loving blue light, the maternal light into your heart bubble so that you may rest within this for a few moments. Breathe and relax. Now, beloved Mary is consciously asking that we link our hearts to our sacral chakra. So your sacral chakra rests above your base, below your navel, exactly in the sacral area you might even want to place your hand upon your sacral and consciously breathe into it so changing the breathing from the heart directing the intention and the energy into the sacral and sense and feel it light up now your sacral is a beautiful soft rose pink 
Mary is now breathing her blue light of compassion into your sacral. So you may feel this as a soft and gentle breath or a flow of energy. And as it mixes with the soft pink of your sacral, the sacral begins to go into a state of divine expansion. Usually a chakra appears to be around the size of an orange, but you will now feel the chakra extending and spreading so it encompasses the entire of your lower body, including the width of your hips. So breathe into that. And the flow of light from beloved Mary is becoming so much stronger than now that the pink turns into a beautiful glowing violet colour. So the pink and the blue are mixing together and creating this shining healing violet light which is literally radiating from your sacral chakra. Now think of those that are you are most closely related to. Not necessarily the people that might be triggering you, but the people who are next in line. Your siblings, your parents, your cousins, aunties, uncles, those that are closely related to you. And then if you know them, or you might not know them, the people behind them, standing behind them. As you visualise your extended family surrounding you, all standing around you in non-physical, just be aware of the generations after generations of souls who are now joining upon this invitation to stand around you, the code breaker. So breathe now into your sacral, which is glowing this incredible, luminous, bright, healing violet colour. Take a deep breath in, breathe into your heart. Breathe from your heart down into your sacral. And upon your out breath, see healing violet light shot through with the light blue of Mary's compassion, spreading out in all directions from your sacral chakra now, directly into the sacrals of those who are closely and not so closely related to you. See their energy lighting up and softening. This is an opportunity for healing, to allow this love to extend pure unconditional love. Even though these people might have challenged you directly or the relationship since your wake up might be difficult, or you might be going through a healing process already that is fixing this bond, this genetic bond, this karmic bond, this lineage. Just feel this flowing from you into them, from the highest source, from a point of blessing. Take another deep breath in. And as you breathe out, see your family and your extended family both in physical and in non-physical, lighting up now. And they are being joined by their own guardian angels, the guardian angels that oversaw their incarnations or are currently looking after them. See each and every one of them being wrapped in the wings of their angels. Breathe and relax. At this point in time, you are now being asked to release any feelings of responsibility that you might have for them. The ultimate act of love is to let go and let God. So just let your light be. Let your abilities as code breaker free the souls around you and just allow this light, this healing, this blessing, this compassion to release thousands of years of built up karma, everything that you brought through to carry upon your shoulders 
as the end of the line for this karmic lineage. Just release it, let it go and give permission for it all to be healed. Beloved Mary is saying, let go and let God. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. It is so. So seeing your entire family lineage, all of your ancestry, surrounded in the wings of their angels, lit up by this incredible infusion of healing light, of compassion from beloved Mary and from the love of your own sacral chakra. Just take another deep breath in now. And as you breathe out, start to come back to yourself, back to your body. Feel the ground beneath your feet. Put your silver roots down. Silver roots through your earth star, ground yourself back in. You might just want to give them all a little bit of a wave as they just begin to dissipate around you now. Now, this particular exercise, you can do as often as you want. There is no too much or too little with this. You can either give permission, let it go, and know that the energy will be working and will continue to work. Or you can make this a practice, a practice of releasing, a practice of forgiveness, a practice of letting go completely. Whatever works for you. But just know that Beloved Mary um, is working with us very closely on many matters at the moment, having been stepped, having stepped forward with permission from the Karmic Board and the Intergalactic Council. We are getting a lot of assistance as we move through this next period up to the solstice. So happy days. Now tomorrow I'm going to be doing the second and the final part of my November series, Rising Above the Earth Matrix and Reclaiming Our Light. Got an interesting little journey that we're going to be doing with Serapis Bay, going into the, basically into the halls of Amenti and accessing the parts of the, the Atlantean halls that many of us will have closed the doors to and will have forgotten about. So please sign up and join. If you didn't come along for the first one, it doesn't matter. Um, there's always a recording to catch up on, but the live event will be fab tomorrow night. So looking forward to seeing you there. Sending you all lots of love. Back on Friday. Bye for now.